Hey YouTube, it's Stuart here from the Passive Income and Why Sleep YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to look at the top five evergreen niches for Redbubble. So, is there some opportunity for you to break into these evergreen niches? Well, sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into it. Hey YouTube, just a quick introduction to the channel, particularly for those of you who are new. I'm Stuart, married to my wife Emily, with our beautiful baby daughter Mia. And this channel was set up to offer tips and tricks on generating money through passive income, in particular on print on demand. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, then please hit that subscribe button below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And for any comments, I'll look to come back to you ASAP. In the meantime, let's get into it. Hey YouTube, so here we are loaded up on the computer and like I say in all my videos, please, please, please check your copyrights first before doing any uploading and also be careful of the marketplace you're uploading to as well. You've got to make sure you keep your account safe. That's the most important thing. So I'm going to show you top five evergreens. Now with these, you can sub niche down, you can cross niche. So I'm just going to show you a bit of a broad way of looking at things. And this is from my experience of using Redbubble. These are the top five evergreens that I found. Now we love an evergreen, it sells year round. Um, normally particularly do well towards Christmas because people just love buying everybody gifts. So they're fantastic, but evergreen, if you can get evergreens that sell regular, you, you're onto a winner. So this is the first one, it's video games. Now what I've done is I've changed the search results instead of being most relevant to best selling. So I'm showing you for the 362,240 results, the best selling designs for video games. And the first one, you see this ever such a lot, I paused my game to be here. That's very good and that's the number one seller. And look how simple that is. It's just three lines of text, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven words. So you don't always have to be a fantastic designer to be the best seller. That's a very straightforward one to do. Uh, but video games, it, it's it's a, a broader term. Video games seem to sell really well, but you can niche down. So if you like a particular kind of video game, whether that's stuff like role playing or action adventure and stuff like that, uh, you can also cross niche with different platforms as well. So if you like them playing on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, but just be careful of your copyright. Um, so something like this, that would, you'd have to be very careful with putting that there because of the copyright. That's quite cool. So you come back for video games and this was the old arcades. So that's funny. I like that. Other stuff are coming up. Flint, be careful with that. I think that is from Tron the film. That is also potentially a risky one. It's from a game called Mass Effect. So you be very careful with the kind of things that you are uploading. Um, then you've got the arcade again there. And you've got some more text coming down further on where I just saw. Yeah, so it's like eat, sleep, game, repeat. Again, those are very uh, popular ways, ones of doing them. Uh, eat, sleep, then the idea, and then repeat. It's uh, always good sellers. And you've got another one I pause my game to be here with the controller. Um, then you've got one based off a keyboard. So it's uh, that's a very clever plan where that is. I like that. So there are arrow keys that normally use for moving around your character. So video games is always a very good seller. They do really, really well. You got ones from Zelda here. So it's a way <laughs> you got it with the vice mask as well. So that's very cleverly done. And so yeah, video games are very good. Um, cross niche and sub niche. If you can with these, it's a very good idea. I got pause my game to be here. Player three has entered the game. So that's one where the cross niche to do with the pregnancy announcement. So that's very clever. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, I've just put it in as a broad term of hobbies, but you can obviously niche down into particular um, forms of hobby. So you've got stuff like yoga, gaming, fishing, golf would be another one. So you can, hobbies is the broad term, but niche that down further into a main, into a main one such as fishing, but then try and niche that down even more. So you could do fishing crossed with Father's Day and it's for father and son doing fishing together. So it's got 328,288. Again, I'll put it on to best selling and just give you some ideas of what's been doing the best on this. So, hiking's doing well there. You've got stickers for the ski mask, that's really cool. Um, 
for people, books, music, food and apps, they're always good hobbies to have. And again, how simple that is. One, two, three, four, five words. And that's one of the best sellers out of all those. You don't always need to be the best designer. They take a hike, so you've got some more for hiking, some more for skiing, they're doing really well. Um, you have dogs, is it a hobby, I suppose. Um, the Rodfather, so that's quite a couple of blind words from the film The Godfather. So you got hobbies there, and if you can, like I said, take it down further if you've got fishing for argument's sake, and see what we come back with with fishing, um, stuff like this. Respect the locals, and you got with the shark and stuff like that. So hobbies are the broad one. Niche it down further to a main one, and then probably niche that down further again because you're still getting 192,000 results. So you need to take that a bit further down. So that's number two. Number three. It would be alcoholic beverages. I'll put it in as bourbon. They seem to do really well for me. Um, you've got quite a lot of play on words, which is good with bourbon. So you got, well, that's neat. And then you've got a neat whiskey. Um, don't know if we'll see it here, but you've got one which is, um, I don't know if bourbon is the answer, but I'll take a shot. So again, play on words. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So again, play on words. So I'm sure it's bourbon, but there's lots of other ones where you can use uh other alcoholic drinks wine um beer so on and so on but you can then cross niche wine with yoga i'm a i'm a mom that loves yoga and wine for argument's sake so use these to cross niche and get into more of a, a marketplace which isn't so competitive but i drink whiskey and i know things i've seen that around quite a lot anti-social whiskey club so quite easy designs these are uh evergreens and they sell all year round so they're fantastic uh bourbon particularly does well for me but I think alcoholic drinks in general do so that's number three let's have a look at number four and this one is I'll put it as dogs but being pets in general um, but I've just shown it you as dogs uh, quite a lot in the initial search 1,665,118 and this is the best seller hold on I see a dog very simple out of all those results and that's the best seller dogs greater than people Trust me, I'm a doctor. So dogs sell really well. They do do ever so well, dogs do. But you could sort of change that up for different um, ideas so for cats or fish or whatever you choose to do. Um, something like dogs, you would probably, again, need to niche that down or cross niche that. But if you have more of an exotic animal, which not as many people have, then perhaps you'll sell it a bit better. So maybe for dog, instead of just having dog, you could have a particular dog breed, which is a little bit rarer. Um, I can't really think of many of the top of that rare, but if you changed it from, we've got dog there, 1,665,000. Well, if you look at uh, Dash Hound, what's the results for this? 45,000. So look how much that's gone down. So if you can find a particular dog breed which isn't that saturated, you can do designs into that. And again, evergreens sell year round. So dogs, cats, any other form of pets you got. People have snakes, people have fishes, rabbits, guinea pig, lots and lots of different kind of animals that you can look at and try and cross niche and niche down as well. So that's number four, dogs. This brings us lastly to number five, which is teaching. 117,626. Okay, so you some of the stuff there, you got uh, the books, you got the apple, uh, teacher of tiny humans, that's quite a good one. It's got nice colour font as well on that. I'm silently correcting your grammar, so English teachers, um, I became a teacher for the money and the fame, so just a bit of fun. But with, again, with something like teaching, it's quite a broad term to have 117,000, so you want to try and niche that down. Um, you could be somebody that teaches the second grade, for argument's sake, and that goes down to 14,399. You've got this here now, something like this, it's actually going to be a trend because of the year that's coming up um see 1182 i have mentioned this actually in my um top five niches of the week but that is more of a trend but teaching as an evergreen can cross into trends as well so that's the good thing about teaching and there's so many different kinds of teachers different subjects um math science english history geography many many more but also teacher of different years second grade third grade fourth grade different kind of schools you've got kindergarten middle school high school college 
uh, university lecturer, etc., etc. So you've got a whole range of different teaching. And also you then you had stuff from like teaching from home and things like that, which went massive in 2020. But they're the top five evergreen niches from my experience. Hopefully that's given you some ideas to create your own work within these niches and start making some money out of these evergreens and get paid year round. These what we want. So get out there, get designing. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.